and I couldn't even go because of this stupid virus. <laughs> been going on with me the past couple of months or really the whole 2020 okay so i don't have a stand for my phone so i'm just gonna have to hold it while i'm driving okay so this is really like an update on like everything that's been going on with me for the past couple months a little glowy but yeah so i'm gonna start from the beginning january was okay um start of my last semester at community college and I'm like okay okay I had a little bump in the road because they told me at the last minute basically that I needed one more class to graduate and I'm like why don't y'all tell me this when I got all my classes the lady told me I was all straight for graduation so why y'all just not tell me so I ended up with five classes all together then I got accepted to ECU in January, the beginning of January. Um, so that was exciting. March comes, COVID. Well, it really came in February, to be honest. March is when they closed all the schools, and I was like, really? I don't want all five of my classes online because originally I had two of them online, which was fine because they were super easy classes, but like all five of them, no. So it wasn't really, it wasn't as bad of a struggle as I thought it would be. Cause like, I had pretty easy classes and before they closed the schools, I had all A's. So I was like, okay, okay I'm gonna keep my all A cause I just got to, you know? So that's March. April comes around. I'm getting everything ready for college and stuff. And then my grandfather passes away. Like, what? Backtrack to March. Like, a whole bunch of people that, like, I knew or, like, that I met, they passed away in, like, March. And they was, like, so close together. I'm like, what is going on? That's crazy. It was just so weird you know and then like school being closed and all that type of stuff it was just crazy so april comes you know granddad passed away and that junk was crazy and just so weird it's so weird like it was just so unexpected like it was just so unexpected i don't even know how to describe it may i'm still getting everything situated for college if you don't get back in your lane yeah. I was trying to like register for my classes but I couldn't register because like I wasn't in the social work program I needed two social work classes to even like apply for the program and to be registered for my classes so I had to do, two, I had to do an application obviously and the application was like, I had to like write about myself and my beliefs basically. It was like six pages. Yeah. And then I had to fill out the application. So that's that. What does my day consist of? It pretty much consists of like me waking up, eating, taking a shower, getting dressed, doing my homework, being on Hulu most of the day when I'm supposed to be doing my work, being on YouTube watching videos social media that's it really nothing exciting i forgot to tell y'all at nash spring break for us was like april 
April 23rd, that week, I was supposed to go to Boston with my cousin. And I couldn't even go because of the stupid virus. Do y'all know how mad I was, y'all? Boston, y'all. I was finna get away. I was finna be living my best life. Corona just came in and took over. It came in and took over. It came in and took over. I don't know what we was gonna do in Boston, but it was Boston. I just wanted to get away. <sighs> and in the misses, I'm still like prepping for the fall semester, hoping that they was gonna, you know, like open the school and everything. Cause look, y'all, I don't want to stay in Rocky Mount. I'm tired of Rocky Mount. Well, I've been here all my life, so I, I was like really excited about college. Cause like it's just like a change of scenery, you know. And that's what I need—a change of scenery. You've been you've been in a town all your life. It's time for like a change, at, at least for a little short period of time. Better not turn in front of me. June, late June, I got accepted into the social work program. I was like, okay, so now I can get my classes because classes that I'm taking are social work classes. I finally got accepted into the program and I finally got registered. And now, in, in the midst of all of this, the social work advisor was letting us know, like, some classes was gonna be online and all the type of stuff and then how like the semester is gonna be split like the fall semester they split it into two the first half is like 15 weeks and the other half is eight weeks but the social work classes they're not gonna be in this split so basically my social work classes I'm just gonna be like 15 weeks so basically i'm taking all four of those classes at the same time and i don't like that if there were a part of split i would take two classes 15 weeks and the other two classes the other eight weeks so i was like that would be cool because all i gotta do is like focus on two at a time like that's that's good for me you know but apparently they voted not to be a part of the split. Like, why? So they're not a part of the split, but I finally got registered for my classes. And then I look at her, my advisor's emails, cause she was like sending everybody a part of the social work program um, emails and stuff about classes, what classes don't be a part of the split, or which ones that weren't. So I was kind of stressing about that. And then I found out that all of my professors are teaching their classes online. Like, that pissed me off. That really pissed me off. I don't want to take no online classes, especially if they're a part of my major. I don't want to take no online classes. This messed up. This messed up. I was really excited because I thought everything was coming together. I finally got, I got accepted into EC. Then I got accepted into the social work program. And then I got my classes. So I'm thinking, okay, facts, I'm gonna be moving in August 1st. And they had just, they literally had just sent me my room assignment. <gasps> that was such a huge letdown. That was such a huge letdown. I already had my roommate. Me and my roommate, hey Nancy, we were, we were like already excited for this and everything. I was looking forward to this. Like, I had already been buying my stuff for my dorm and everything. My comforter set came in the mail, like, the day before my professors told me that the class was going to be online. 
Well, I canceled my, yeah, I canceled my housing, so. This is messed up, like, why? I just want to get, get away from home for a little bit. I'm hoping next, I hope spring is better. I hope spring, they're not going to teach my classes online. I don't know what class is that class I'm going to take, but. I just hope they are over because then I'm not going to be able to stay during the spring either. So, you know, Corona is like really messing everything up. Like, this year is just weird. And that's like, I can't go to church. I miss church, like, a lot. It's not the same watching watching like the service on Facebook live. I don't, don't, don't want to do that. I mean, I do it, but no. I thought staying at home all the time. I'm trying to be optimistic about Holy See because like, at least I'm not going to come into contact with someone that not taking the virus seriously or I already have the virus. I want to go to campus. I really want to go to 2020. If you're wondering why it looks different from the other videos, I did film this part of the video two days later than the other videos. And I obviously did my hair differently. And I'm wearing something different. And I'm in my room. I don't think I really touched on this part. In the other videos but like it's really crazy now because like all of the racial stuff that's been going on and like the protests and stuff like that it's just really crazy i don't know if i'm scared but like it makes me nervous because like all this stuff is happening like what if this happens to me you know and like what if I'm just sitting like for example this one girl she was sitting at stoplight and I, I guess her her windows obviously were down so and these white men just they set her on fire like you know they set her on fire and she suffered from burns and stuff like what if that happens to me what if I get pulled over by a police officer what if my dad gets pulled over by a police officer or my cousin or my uncle one of my friends you know like it's just really crazy out here every time you turn on the news they either talking about coronavirus or a hate crime and like I don't want to be a victim of hate crime and I don't want none of my friends or my family members or anybody that I know of I don't want anybody to be a victim of hate crime. Why can't, why is it such a crime to be black? Like, why is that such a crime? I will never understand. Like, that's dumb. That's dumb. It's just really crazy out here. And I know I keep saying that, but it's like really crazy out here. Y'all, this is, this is like so unreal. Like, it feels like, Almost like a nightmare, you know, like, and you can't even wake up from it. So, well, thank you all for watching this video. If you watched all the way through, thank you. Go ahead and like it. Y'all be watching my videos and not liking. Like, and not subscribing.